There seems to be confusion out there about the consequences of an ice-free Arctic Ocean. According to the Referee Journal literature, in a 2012 paper in the Annual Review of Earth and Planetary Sciences, we can expect an ice-free Arctic to occur this year or next. It appears that we're on track as of now in early August for an ice-free Arctic Ocean in early September of this year, 2018. And that certainly fits in with the Referee Journal literature. It's not that I want this to happen, obviously, but when it does happen, according to the Referee Journal literature, in great abundance, and also according to the President of Finland, no less, we can expect habitat for humans to disappear very rapidly thereafter. If we have an ice-free Arctic Ocean, and I'm not making a prediction here, but if we have an ice-free Arctic Ocean early enough during the melt season, then I suspect that will cause civilization to collapse in September of this year. I think that's likely to happen in September or October of this year because of the great detriment to the wheat crop already underway in Europe, as well as to the corn or maize crop in North America. So it appears that we've already set a pretty dire situation in motion with respect to grain harvest and grain storing. And I strongly suspect that that will lead to collapse of industrial civilization, at least in the United States and probably beyond, as early as September or October of this year. The resultant absence of global dimming then will then drive up the global average temperature so rapidly that very few species will be able to keep up with that rapid rate of change. And I've described that notion in a previous edge of extinction clip called Rate Matters. In any event, we've already triggered numerous self-reinforcing feedback loops. It appears that the grain harvest is threatened, therefore the ability to grow, store, and distribute grains at scale is threatened, and that's the basis for every civilization so far, including this one. In addition, the third El Nino event in four years is currently underway. This is a phenomenon that typically occurs every seven to ten years, and we're, we're triggering the fourth one, or the third one rather, in three years. The last one of significance drove up the global average temperature very rapidly, and we have not recovered from that event yet. The global average temperature is still remaining high, as it tends to do following El Nino events, and stabilizes during the La Nina period, goes up again, stabilizes. So if that happens, and it appears that it is already happening, then I expect to see a global average temperature rise high enough to further threaten the grain harvest and lead us to a virtually immediate collapse of industrial civilization. So you combine the El Nino effect with the already very high global average temperature and couple that with utter chaos in the financial markets and it's difficult for me to, to, to see how we avoid some sort of great sell-offs, a continued rapid unraveling of the economic system over the course of the autumn of this year, 2018. So I don't like to be the one saying this, but I think that's going to happen. If we get an extra year out of this whole thing, I would be ecstatic. I can assure you that I would be ecstatic if we get an extra year. I don't see it in the cards, but if we do, hallelujah, at the edge of extinction. Only love remains, and maybe a little bit of wishful thinking.